So back to basics. What are the different NQF levels? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Zanella. What I like to share about on this channel is around engineering, around leadership and career development. Today I'll be taking you back to basics. Um, there have been a couple of questions around the NQF level and I figured that it is worth doing a mini series where I'll answer some of those questions around the NQF and what the different qualifications and accreditations um, reward you or what you achieve at the end of that NQF. So starting off with SACWA, so you guys know SAQA, it's a South African Qualifications Authority. Basically, this is a board and a governing body comprised of 12 members who are appointed by the Minister of Higher Education and Training. So the main objectives of SACWA and the governing body are to advance the objectives of the NQF, to ensure the implementation and the development of the NQF, because with time, things change and evolve, and you'd want to see a development and an improvement of the NQF, and also to coordinate the framework of the national qualification frameworks. And the NQF, as you guys know, is the national qualification framework, is there to ensure the classification, the registration, the publication of the NQF, also the articulation of the quality assured national qualification. Basically, in, in layman's terms or high level, the NQF is really a set of principles and guidelines, obviously to govern and ensure the registration of the right qualifications, but also to encourage a culture of lifelong learning. So not only do you get your qualification and the buck stops there, but how is it that you'll continue to progress and learn throughout your journey in your life and in your career as well? And that's the main objective of the NQF. So the NQF is actually made up of 10 levels. So there was a question that was asked, what was the highest or what is the highest NQF level? The highest level is NQF level 10. So it ranges and starts from one all the way up to 10. So I'll take you through high level, what the different levels actually mean. So the first level is NQF level one, and this is a general certificate. And just to describe what grade one would have um, to achieve NQF level one, this would mean your grade nine. NQF level two is an elementary certificate. You've got your grade 10 qualification plus a level two national vocational certificate. NQF level three is intermediate certificate. You've passed your grade 11 and you've got a national level three vocational certificate. NQF level four is the national certificate. So we know it to be your matric or grade 12. This is the National Vocational Certificate at Level 4. NQF Level 5 is your higher certificate. So some of these we get post-matric and we get a higher certificate. NQF Level 6 is an advanced certificate and this is where you would get your diploma. At the end of your diploma, you exit at an NQF Level 6. And NQF Level 7 is your bachelor's degree. It also is deemed as an advanced certificate. Some individuals don't necessarily look out for the differences between an NQF Level 7 and Level 8, but a Level 7 is where you've got your bachelor's degree and they're differentiated by the number of credits that you achieve. So you might have your bachelor's degree, but you don't obtain that degree with honors. So example, your B-Eng, even your B-Eng is C, your bachelor's degree, but if you don't obtain it with honors, the credits that you obtain only warrant you an NQF Level Seven. NQF level 8 is where you get your bachelor's degree with honors. Some of these also um, speak to your postgraduate diploma. This will warrant you an NQF level 8. You will get your bachelor's degrees awarded with honors. Um, these tend to be about four to five years. So do look out with the credits that you obtain at the end of your qualification with each prospectus. Check out what the level of credits that you'll obtain and what the level NQF that you, that you get. Because you don't want to come post your three or four years and only realize that that you've got an NQF level 7 qualification, whereas you could have gotten a level 8 if you'd included some credits. NQF level 9 is where you get your master's degree, and NQF level 10 is where you've got your doctoral degree. So all in all, the main objective is to encourage and to drive that individuals post their initial degree, that we continue to learn, gain experience, go back to tertiary institutions, and obviously demonstrate our understanding of some of the requirements. Some individuals do stay in academia from their first year all the way to their doctoral qualification. And these are individuals that are looking to progress in academia. They tend to be professors in the tertiary institutions and HODs and deans and whatnot. Some individuals are pursuing 
pursuing publications. They tend to write a lot of journals. They also develop material. Some individuals do exit as soon as they've got their first NQF um, qualification and go into industry, try and apply practically, and then come back again to continue further. A lot of it will depend on the type of individual you are, what you're looking to achieve and pursue in your career. And ultimately, we don't finish learning as we get that degree. You guys know that I'm a true believer that we do learn with every encounter that we're exposed to. It's within our households, outside of our homes, in industry, in the workplace, with different individuals and, and um, strangers that we engage with through travel um, and being exposed to different cultures outside of the little bubble that we live in. But ultimately, when it comes to academia, there is an opportunity to continue to progress the NQF levels and really drive and encourage that lifelong learning culture. At the end of the day, the qualification is just a piece of paper and ultimately it's all dependent on what you do with it. How do you apply it and how do you add value back to the organization or the people that you're serving? I'll continue to post more content and get into a little bit more detail around the NQF levels and what they may mean for you. Comment below on what NQF level you're currently sitting with and if you're looking to study further. Remember to live your best life, learn as you grow and lead for change. Shabba.